I'm at a point in my life where what I value the most is freedom. I don't care about professional success. What I care is about following my own path and not worry about you know, the dollar sign at the end of that path. Mm. It's not because I'm rich, I'm not. But I'm comfortable enough where I can say, now is time to do what I really want to do. I was born in a very modest uh, family, but very loving family, with great parents and uh, the youngest of five kids. We never missed anything in life. We had everything we needed. And that sort of has been my philosophy, basically, is as long as you cover the basic, life is good. I think being born in the 60s, lived in a world where everything was pretty much static at the beginning. We went through waves and waves of immigration and slowly we started seeing people coming from other countries coming to school. At first I was sort of resistant in the sense that I thought I don't know those people. But then something happened when I was still very young. My brother traveled to, uh, through Europe to go to Africa where he worked for two years. And every step of the way through his traveling store across Europe, he kept sending me postcards. And I was sort of discovering the world through his eyes and, and sort of becoming really fascinated with his discovery. At a very young age, it opened, I opened myself to the rest of the world. To me, what is what makes me go through each day is a series of little pleasures. So I mentioned having my coffee in the morning, that's one little pleasure. Having a grilled cheese, if I feel like having a grilled cheese, that's another little pleasure. Opening a bottle of wine while cooking dinner, that's another kind of pleasure. And I'm a fan of cheese, I love cheese. That is always the ultimate form of pleasure. What makes me go through the day is at least have those moments of pleasure. Listening to you know, a piece of music that you know, brings me back memories and so on.